epic with the leak of documents related to the war in Ukraine ended with the detention of its source, 21-year-old U.S. Air Force officer Jack Teixeira, with the prospect of imprisonment for decades. At the end of 2022, he began posting verbatim transcripts of secret intelligence documents in a chat on the Discord platform, explaining the details to other participants, and after some time began to upload photos of documents, which eventually became publicly available. Now Teixeira will be charged with illegal seizure, storage and transfer of classified information relating to national security. However, the head of the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine, Budinov, said that the leak of documents in the United States will not affect the real results of the counteroffensive, the results of which everyone will see and feel in the near future. Success is urgently needed for both Ukrainians and allies, Budinov said, predicting seismic changes in Russia. And in general, as it turned out, Kiev had not provided the Pentagon with any critical information for a long time, fearing leaks. And, as reality showed, he was right. The Kremlin probably feels the approach of the X hour, so the leader of the rashest gang Putin made a night's move, declaring martial law without declaring martial law. Adopted in half a day and immediately in three readings, the law on electronic subpoenas for those liable for military service is a schematic declaration of martial law, when everyone who has been called up can no longer get out, and is forced to take up arms, defeated in rights and imposed restrictions on all sides. Putin understands that he cannot lose, but he does not understand that he has actually already lost. After all, even if he calls on hundreds of thousands more organisms, there will be nothing to arm them with, their morale will be negative, and they will simply become raw materials for sacrifices. But Putin doesn't care about anyone but himself. He is already close to entering into a clinch with a system that, after the first blows to the face, will be forced to start the mechanism for excommunicating the bankrupt leader from power. Usually such communication occurs through a gun carriage and a funeral. Putin, of course, will be against it, but then someone will get ahead of whom. Relations between the Kremlin and the United States are also in the worst territory. Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov is scheduled to chair a meeting of the UN Security Council in New York in April but the U.S. has not yet issued permission for the arrival of the minister's special plane and visas for the Russian delegation. Meanwhile, his deputy, Sergei Ryabkov, mockingly admits the exchange of the journalist Gershkovich, who was kidnapped by the Russian special services. And on whom, Putin will decide, who gave the green light to this pirate kidnapping. By the way, this pharaonic baldhead will soon become equal in authority with the Constitutional Court having received the right to refuse the execution of decisions of foreign or interstate bodies. His own prosecutor, his own judge and executor. Convenient, fast, neat. One thing is alarming, all these powers will not save you from tea, a cutting or a sledgehammer if the system decides to do just that. The consequences of the war are so monstrous that they will have to be saved in an emergency mode. Already in 2022, 17% of Russians did not have enough money to buy food, clothes and shoes. At the same time, 4% of the population could not even buy food for themselves. And there is no need to wait for improvement, because the war will take away everything, to the last penny. And then there will be a long period of paying bills for reparations. By the way, the court in The Hague made a decision, in respect of which Russia must pay Naftogaz $5 billion. This is compensation for damage caused by Russia's seizure of Ukrainian assets in Crimea in 2014. But the Kremlin is unlikely to agree with this decision, at least as long as Putin is pharaoh there, his own judge and the Almighty. All these bills, together with fines, will accumulate and fall on the heads of the hardballs after the final defeat in the war. In the meantime, the Rashists are shelling Bakhmut with phosphorus shells. The scorched earth strategy on the principle of do not get you to anyone is a distinctive feature of the warfare of savage liberators. An explosion occurred at the 4th power unit of the Zaporizhia NPP this week. It was the rashes who mined the perimeter of the station, and now anything and any time can explode there. Mankind continues to play with shit, hoping that it will not turn Europe into a radioactive animal burial ground. In the meantime, 
Google Trends captures the aggravation of the interest of Russians on the topic of how to transfer an apartment and a car to a wife. In recent days, the number of such requests has increased by 250 to 1,350 percent. It's good for the wives of the furry people, there would be no happiness, but the military commissar helped. Now they will be at apartments, with cars, and then they will also receive a kilo of dumplings. Here is such a profit from the scheme of war. Live, I don't want to.